been rough, but what's new? I haven't had makeup on once in this video, I think. Oh, I had the Gerard Way makeup on. I will be doing full face today, full glam. What is, what's going on? Um, I just woke up, got out of bed. It's like 7.30. Eight? I don't even know. Brewing some coffee, but while I do that, I'm gonna start pulling some things for today's photo shoot. So I'm actually meeting up with Allison and JM in Midtown today to do a shoe. It's a coven inspired shoe or just like which American Horror Story inspired shoot. Anyway, so I'm pulling a couple things. Let me show you what we're working with right now. We have thigh highs. I'm actually gonna be wearing one of JM's shirts. It's like a long button up with the thigh highs. So I think, I don't know, that's gonna be more of like a Zoe look, I think. And then I have like a black like cardigan shawl thing. And under the button up, I think I'm just gonna wear this like mini bodycon dress just to, in case it's like sheer at all, you know? And for shoes, I'm gonna bring a couple pairs of shoes because we might be walking around Midtown but the shoes that I wanna wear are a size too small, so I can't really walk that much in them. So I'm gonna bring a few pairs and then just bring a bag and then carry the bag around, I think. Anyway, so I'm actually doing something today, guys. I am doing something, I'm getting out of the house. I'm gonna have full face of makeup on so you don't have to look at this anymore, which, you know, I don't feel that bad about because this is me, this is who I am, but just, you know, it's it's been, I've been looking, you know, not not the best in these vlogs. Not that I need makeup. It's not just the lack of makeup that makes me feel like that. It's just in general. But we got this going on, so gotta gotta do something about that. Well, that looks a little different. I just finished filming my American Horror Story review, which will be up today because I don't think I'm gonna be gone that long. Probably a few hours. Um, obviously I finished my makeup. I, it was inspired by Michael Langdon, so this is still a problem. I don't know what to do about that. James gonna have to Photoshop that, um, out of the photos. Anyway, it's like 11.30 and I'm gonna leave at 12, so I'm gonna find something to eat before I go. And we're meeting at Temple Coffee. Anyway, I'm excited for the coven to be reunited. That's the nickname that we have for Allison, Jam, and I. So not only is the coven being reunited, but we're actually a coven today. We're all dressed in all black, doing the shoot. It's gonna be amazing. Guess who it is? I don't know. She said she can see me and I'm scared. She probably drove past you, I'm guessing, yeah. So I assume she wasn't parked yet. Right. Maybe. She has to be that one. Oh, she's waving. She's way over there. Oh. The blue car. <laughs> Hi everyone! Oh yeah, hey vlog. We arrived at Temple. Finally, um, after a trek for everybody. I know. Well, not so much for me. It was that everyone else had a long, long uh, trip, public transport, three-hour uh, drive. I heard someone say she sucked my dick for my MySpace password, and wow. I knew it was going to be a day. <laughs> like that was the beginning of my trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she got a good spot. Okay, yeah. sir. I got frustrated, so I just. Yeah, we're officially the coven now. Look at Allison there. Wait, where is she? My black lipstick. Yes. It's going to the farmer's market. <laughs> so, <laughs> making fun of my bag. It's eco-friendly. <laughs> so I have the cape on, we got the hat on, we got the outfit on, some like stockings. Allison's got her cape. My hat. We're looking very witchy today. <laughs> There's a guy that is working on this house right here, and he said that we're allowed to go on the stairs and up okay. on the porch, and like in the house. So we found a perfect so, location. Are the cape out or like sitting on the cape? Um, let me see. It's like shiny. Oh my god, there's some. And for these ones, just feel it. Just keep moving, chin up, chin down, out the window, looking in, looking at each other. <laughs> they don't look at each other. <laughs> so you guys, this shot is so good. Instead of like me. No. <laughs> wait, oh wait, wait sorry. Hold on, wait. You're laughing. Steps 
Here, let me have you do like a full twirl around. Good. And then come down the steps towards me. goodbye to the beautiful location. Literally. It worked out really perfectly. I'm so excited. I'm excited. To see the photos. They're gonna be on JM's Instagram. They're gonna be on my Instagram. Probably on Allison's Instagram. Yeah. There's definitely some up already. By the time, yeah, this, by the time, is time this video up, it's <laughs> on this vlog is up there's some up already if you want to see JM shot me. JM shot me on Instagram. I love it. Or on Twitter. On Twitter too, yeah. You've been start doing more it on there. stuff. Yeah. All right, so I just dropped them off at their car and walk into my car, which is a few blocks away because parking on a weekday in Sacramento is a nightmare. But I'm really excited about the shoot. That ended up being really cool, and I'm glad it was kind of short because I still have all day. It's about 2 p.m., so I'm gonna head home and uh, edit my video, I guess, and then hang out. I don't know. Relax. So I figured before I take my face off, we would answer some questions that I got on previous blogs. Thank you guys so much for actually leaving comments and stuff. I want to try to do stuff like this in every blog um, just so it's like personal. You know, you get to know me a little bit more. This channel is very much me, like 100%. <laughs> like this is who I am. Don't look at me ass. Is Ryan into Halloween as much as you are? I know you'd mentioned before he didn't want you decorating so early in December or September. Wow, I can't talk. I'm so out of it guys. I'm so tired. I just feel weird today. You know, like off my American Horror Story review was just all over the place. It's a hot mess. I'll link it if you want to watch it, but it's a hot mess. <laughs> anyway, no, Ryan probably doesn't really care that much about Halloween, like at all. <laughs> probably more into Christmas than Halloween, but I don't want to decorate for Christmas at all this year. So I don't know if he is going to be that passionate about having a tree and whatnot, but personally I could go without the Christmas decor this year. Someone's asked where I watch America's Next Top Model. I have a Hulu subscription, so all the seasons up to 22, I believe, are on Hulu. Okay, so this is a really long comment. I'll go ahead and put the whole comment up here so you guys can read it, but I'm just gonna address little sections of it because I've already read through it. So basically they're asking um, that because seasonal affective disorder happens at the same time every year, do you think the way people are affected has anything to do with their attitude? If someone were to be very present in trying to just be happy and just say that the gloominess won't affect them that that would make it better at all or do you think it would be just as bad no matter the person's attitude from my own personal experience I tell myself every year like this is gonna be different like you're gonna be fine and it doesn't work <laughs> that's not how depression works and obviously they acknowledge that in their comment my cat wants in excuse me Oh my god, monkey, can you not be so clumsy, please? <laughs> anyway, you know that that's not how depression works, and seasonal affective disorder is legitimate depression. Um, it gets very dark for me. I don't want to get too into detail or, or anything, but it gets as dark as it gets for most people who have depression. So I wish it was that easy of just, like, telling yourself, like, you're gonna be good, like, you're gonna be fine. It's just the weather. But for me, there was another comment too that mentioned having the rain be psychosomatic for me. And they're very right in that as well because a lot of things that are very emotional for me that have happened to me happened in the fall and winter. So a lot of my seasonal affective disorder is actually emotional baggage, if you will, just stuff that has that I'm affected by and it's triggered by the rain and the weather. But I also have seasonal affective disorder in the sense that not enough sunlight um, affects me negatively and makes me very, very depressed. There are definite things that you can do to like help prevent it from being as bad every year, um, but it works just like regular old depression that other people have. Like that's, that's just how it is. It's as legitimate. I, I have gotten comments in the past on my mental health videos, my seasonal affective disorder videos saying how it's not a legitimate mental illness and it's that we should be thankful and like it's not as bad as regular depression which it does get as severe as regular depression it's just not year-round and for that I am grateful but at the same time you cannot you know what do you want to call it invalidate 
um, the mental illness because it is a legit mental illness. Okay, so those are the questions I'm going to answer in today's vlog. I just want to keep it short and sweet and simple. Um, if you have any other questions that you want me to address tomorrow, please let me know down below. I'm not sure if I'm going to end the vlog yet. It is 5.19 p.m. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do with my evening tonight. I might have a little wine. I don't know. It's been a, a minute since I had any alcohol, so I'm just keeping it real, um, which we will have a Halloween cocktail moment here on this channel. I'm very excited about it. I haven't planned the drinks or anything yet. Um, let me know if you'd like to be with JM, John Michael. Anyway, um, so I might do that. I need to start watching Harry Potter 2, the second one, because we finished the first one. So I don't know if I should go the Harry Potter route or Babadook route. I'm not really sure which one to watch tonight. If you want to leave your vote down below, please do. I'll probably upload this vlog. Actually, I don't know. It's already five. Should I end the vlog? Should I do it? I, I think I need to do it. I hate that I have to end it so early, but it's the only way that I can get it up on the same day. Maybe next year I'll do day after and so you can get my full day, but I also really enjoy having the evenings off because it's, you know, what's keeping me sane right now. This video will be the ninth video in five days. I've posted nine videos in a five day period, like, I have never posted so many videos in my life. I feel like I'm like just attached to my desk over here and this computer and just constantly editing. Oh, we need to have a check-in about my goals this month. I failed. I just completely fell off the bandwagon. I did two days of meditation and reading and then none after that. I think what I'm gonna try to do, I don't like meditating in the evenings. I just it's not my, my thing. I prefer to do it in the mornings. It just sets the tone for my day. So I think I'll pick it back up tomorrow because it's only 10 minutes a day. It's really not that difficult, but for some reason I've been so preoccupied with like other things. I think it's the videos distracting me. Um, I just constantly feel like I need to be doing something for every single channel, every single moment of the day, which is unrealistic. Um, but I think tonight I'll read and tomorrow morning I'll pick up on the meditation. But I do want to get back on track with the goals of this month. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I'm sorry it was kind of all over the place and like short again. I think it's short. I don't really know with the footage that I have how long it's going to be. But, but I hope you enjoyed regardless and I will talk to you soon. Bye.